Hello all, I would like to welcome you in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I will be discussing what do you mean by Silicon Control Rectifier or you can call it as SSER. Before beginning the session, I request everyone to subscribe my channel. You, will, you are able to get similar kind of videos in future also. So let us continue the discussion. What do you mean by Silicon Control Rectifier and what are the salient features of Silicon Control Rectifier? As you can able to see, the basic representation of silicon control rectifier or SCR is in this fashion. It is a three terminal device that is anode, cathode and gate. Where gate is a control terminal where anode and cathode both are called power terminals. And also SCR is one of the most important family member of thyristors. I already discussed uh, in detail about thyristor in the last session. I have given a very good overview regarding thyristor. I request you to watch my previous video that is available in the i button of this particular session. Let us continue the discussion. It is a three junction device. There are three junctions like J1, J2 and J3. There are three junctions and also if I talk about the layers, it is a PN PN junction device. Therefore, it is having how many layers? Please tell me. 1, uh, 2, 3, and 4 layers. You can make out. There are 4 layers available in this particular device. Is it an unidirectional device or bidirectional device? Obviously, it is an unidirectional device. The device conducts from anode to cathode. Current flow takes place only from anode to cathode not from cathode to anode you have to make it very clear and it is a bipolar device what does it mean regarding the bipolar device so if i talk about the bipolar device it blocks both forward and reverse direction that is why it is known as bipolar device this is very much important point you can remember this now i would like to show you the doping level of different layers i hope you have got a basic information and also it is a semi control device or you can call it as a half control device why it is calling like that because SCR can only able to control during on state by using the triggering pulse off state I actually it's not in the way of control I mean no control over turn off there is only control during turn off that is why it is called as half controlled or semi controlled one can call it as half controlled it's a half controlled device you can make a note half controlled device okay half controlled or you can write it as semi controlled device it can be expected for the objective type questions semi controlled device identify the semi controlled device semi controlled device Okay. Make a note of this. So I am repeating this topic is very essential. As far as the structure of SCR concerned, we can able to make it very clear. We are having uh, three junction in case of we can have an observation anode. Uh, so three junction, there are three junction like J1, J2, J3 and three terminals. Three terminals, three junction and four layer. Now we have to explain about the doping level. So why doping is required? Doping is nothing but adding of external additional sub substance or material to increase the conductivity. That is called a doping. In analog electronics you must have learned about doping. Look at this first layer you can able to see P plus. The layer P plus which is having the highest doping level P plus. Doping is highest in case of uh, P plus layer. Doping is lowest in case of N minus layer. Doping is medium in case of P layer. And also N plus is also having high level of doping. Clear? Okay. Now, let us discuss the thickness of the J1. So, you have to talk about the thickness of depletion layer at the J1. So, what about the thickness of depletion layer at the junction 1? Everybody look at the junction 1. I am concentrating at the junction 1. As I always told you that the P plus layer, the P plus layer uh, which will be having highest doping level where N minus level having very much less amount of doping level. 
therefore the width of j1 is very much high width of the depletion layer of that particular junction j1 is high note the point if i talk about the j3 so j3 lies between this p layer and n plus layer how about the doping level of n plus layer doping level of n plus layer is high but the doping level of this p layer is medium therefore uh, the thickness compared to j1 thickness of j3 thickness of depletion layer of j3 is very less compared to j1 i hope you understood yeah so in conclusion what i am trying to convince you that the thickness of j1 is higher than thickness of j3 i am talking about thickness of depletion layer make a note of this okay that is very essential so we can able to understand that as the doping level is high the width of the depletion layer is less both are inversely proportional that is the conclusion i can able to make out so in this session what we discussed is we have discussed about uh, the salient features of scr why scr is called as control device in that you can able to make it as very clear that scr is a half controlled or semi controlled device why it is happening and uh, what about the junctions how many junctions are there there are three junctions are available in scr and four layers also included in scr uh, it is also known as bipolar device and uh, it's a unidirectional uh, device only because it conducts only from anode to cathode and uh, later i discussed about the structure but, uh, in that i have included uh, the two important parameters such as doping level and width of that particular depletion layer so these are the topics i discussed in this session uh, may i know if you are having any queries i i am happy to answer with that particular queries uh, finally thank you very much for watching this video happy learning